Hey, it's been a while. Let's chat while you watch me paint. So, I usually start my paintings by having a vague idea and just going for it. I don't recommend that. This time I started by sketching out the composition on my iPad using Procreate. These plants are based on plants I saw at the botanical garden that I went to earlier in the year. I don't want to spend a lot of time planning because I want to spend more time filling in details later, and doing that on the sketch is a waste of time for me. For most of this year, I was working on a children's book with a local author here in Maryland. I'll leave the link to the book in the description in case you'd like to order it. If this is your first time with me, welcome! I'm Adrian, and I love making art. I make a lot of it. You're welcome to buy some of it from me. Go to my website, adrianprice.com, to find out more. I also recently launched a newsletter that will be infrequent and short. In May, I finished the book that I was working on, and I also got married. I went on a cruise to Bermuda and the Bahamas as well. It was so nice. I didn't even get COVID, which was a win. However, I did get it later in the summer on my birthday weekend. It didn't hit me too badly, so I can't really complain that much, um, but I do feel bad for all the people that do get it and get really sick. It's awful. So once I'm happy with the sketch, I'll start to add some colors. The summer has been a blur. A blur in that you can't even see the trees properly because of the fires in various places. Not to mention the summer always just goes too fast. The wildfires in Canada and other places made it difficult to breathe and impacted so many people. The days have flown by as Gemini season progressed into Cancer season, then Leo season, and right now I'm reflecting on all of this and it's September. Virgo season in full swing. Once I'm happy with the color blocking, I'll start to paint the canvas. I'll often switch back and forth between paintings, which you can see here in this video. Sometimes my cat visits me. I also find that working on multiple paintings at the same time helps me to stay motivated and productive. Especially if it's a bigger canvas, working on something smaller with the same color palette can feel like I'm being a rebel against the boss. Except that I am the boss, so if I get distracted with another painting, I'm actually doing fine. You know what? I really love my boss. I've been keeping busy, but not just in my social life, also in my learning life. I have bought a few Domestica courses, and one of them is about using your sketchbook to create a one-point perspective drawing. I'll make a video about this one at some point. I made a bookshop that was based on my visits to Venice. I also made some stickers, like these ones that you can see here on the screen. Books are my love language. I made especially for one of the art events that I went to at a local bookstore this summer. If you have made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments what book was the best one you've read this year. Finally, I finish up the paintings. I think this one turned out really great and is kind of indicative of how I see the world. The blue and gold macaw was inspired by the one that we used to have as a family, our family pet named Cosmo. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, leave me a comment about what you're interested in seeing from this channel, and be sure to subscribe for more. I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to make more art.